hey guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here hey my name is Bree. welcome um if you haven't already go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can be a part of the fam bam here and go ahead and like this button because that's what we do here you know we give likes we love you know it's peace love and happiness over here okay so anyways y'all know for a fact that I just do whatever I want to my hair and it kind of just goes with it, hence this color. <laughs> All right, so today we are going to do a silk press and I am super excited because I have not, I have, I have not um, pressed my hair or put any kind of heat to it in like so long. It's been like, I want to get, uh, I want to say it good. Like, uh, I want to say a good six years, possibly, since I've actually, like, put heat to it. Yeah, it's been a minute. And the most heat that I would put to it, if ever, is, um, like, a blow dryer. But I got a new blow dryer and a new flat iron. So, baby, we we on it pop and we back in action. Okay, cur. Anyways, so today, <laughs> today I am doing... Well, I have a, like a little mix of products that I'll be using because I don't know what's going on. I don't know if it's just a shortage of people not delivering the product, but I am tired of things not matching, okay? Like I just need a complete set of one product line, okay? To get the best results, that's all I want, just the best results. Okay, so today I will be using Mazani. Um, I don't even know if I'm saying that right, but boom, boom. Okay, this is the shampoo, shampoo and conditioner. And this is, I don't know if y'all can see this. Don't look at my face. Boom. So these, um, this is their thermal, thermal smooth line. And so it comes in step one, shampoo, step two, conditioner, and then step three, which is the sleek guard, which is like cream, almost like a primer in a sense. And then, ah, and then I will be finishing with um, Cream of Nature's Heat Argan, the Argan, the, 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 the Argan oil from Moroccan line, um, the heat protectant and smooth shine polisher. So this is like, Again, heat protector and then <clears throat> anti humidify slash gloss and shine mist. So, we're gonna get that like the luster that we need, you know. And that's the products that I'll be using. And I will give y'all a sweep through of the products uh, as well. And <laughs> and they will be listed down below in the description box down below. So, before we continue on in this video, I would like for y'all to tell me when's the last time you put some heat to your hair and what kind of heat? Is it was a flat iron? Was it a roller set heat under the dryer? Was it a blow dry? Was it a, a you know, a, a silk press like we're about to do today? Like, come on guys, interact. I want to talk. I want to chit chat it up. But yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and get to washing this and we'll be back. So just continue watching. What's up, you guys? So to be quite frank, I really, really did not want to do this voiceover. But, you know, I figured if I didn't do this voiceover, y'all probably was going to be a little confused as to what I was putting in my head at what particular time. And then I'm pretty sure you're going to have questions about these raggedy ass ends. So here we are. Here I am okay here it goes so here in this section you see that i am just combing it out before i wash it i have not washed my hair yet i am just combing it out because i like to you know detangle before i get into the shower and wash it but you know that's kind of like ass backwards but you know it just saves me a lot of time because you know i am tender-headed as like god knows what it's it's the bee's knees it's bad news bears okay so and i know i probably should do it in the shower but i don't want to pass out in the shower because my showers be steamy okay and it it takes me a while okay so 
because I be trying not to make it hurt. It's, it's just a process, okay? So I choose to do it outside of the shower so I don't pass out in the shower. Okay? Okay. Great. So as I section it off, get it organized, then I get ready for the shower and do my first wash. Boom. Washed hair. Great. Now, moving forward. Okay, this is the second wash, and now I'm moving on to the conditioner. So, pretty much, I follow the steps. One, step one, step two is conditioner. Put it all over and let that sit. I let it sit for about, mm, I want to say, 30 minutes. Um, so, I let it sit for 30 minutes. I combed it through my hair. You see how easy that is? Look at that. Mm, boom. Easy. Just lather it up, too just I, yeah so i'm i am heavy handed on the conditioner i don't hold back and then i just section it off again and then i rinse it Hey, hey, we're back. Look at that nice shining forehead. Mm, I was hungry, clearly. I don't really eat on camera, but y'all see me today. <laughs> okay, so this is freshly rinsed again, okay? Now it's time for the action, action, action. And let me just tell y'all, I did get this BB Bliss um, pistol grip dryer, hair dryer, and a one-inch BB Bliss uh flat iron as a combo pack for like 150 at Ulta so shout out to Ulta online because I definitely copped that bad boy all right so this is the process to where I am finally blow drying my hair and you see me apply a step three which is like a primer that's by Mazzani so yeah that kind of gives me some an extra layer of stuff that I need to do for my hair and then moving on it was kind of like a silk I don't know what it was called I, I don't even have a picture of it so my bad you guys but I will have a I will have it down below in the description below yeah see that's what it is the sheer sheer guard or something like that so it's pretty much like a primer um yeah I was confused a little bit because I'm like what is it supposed to do it smells good <laughs> I made the face but it does smell good <laughs> so yeah so i do blow dry with a um a pick because it's just easier to manage and i can just easily brush it downwards in the direction that i want it to go versus with a brush i'm kind of like having to flip my wrist all different types of ways and yeah it's just a mess easy peasy with a what you call it although you see it me struggle a lot and like i said we're gonna talk about these raggedy ass ends okay That's how you fix that like this is my hair boom look how volume it voluptuous mm. come on girl i can honestly wear my hair like this and i'll be totally okay um i think society just isn't ready for that shit though real talk oh. 
time for the final process. So here I'm using Cream of Nature's Argan Oil and the Shine Heat Protectant um, Gloss. And then I'm doing the Shine um, Argan Oil by Cream of Nature, um, the Mist for Shine. So I'm getting a double whammy here. I'm doing Heat Protectant and then I'm doing the Added Shine at the end. Okay, so this is half side. Okay, so back to these ends. So let me give y'all the 411 on these ends. So the last time I cut my ends was when I, um, I want to say cut it all off, which was like this time last year. So <laughs> I've made it all the way to a whole fiscal year of cutting my hair from zero to this. And I haven't cut it since then. So yeah, my regimen on cutting my ends has been kind of shitaya. Chitage. It's been a great aid garbage, okay? So, I t ah, as you see, now I have burnt my finger. And at this point, I don't want to do any more because I think my finger is going to fall off because that's what it felt like. I literally put my hand down, not seeing where I was putting my hand, and it literally touched the plate of this baby bliss flat iron. And I was in agonizing pain as if my scalp wasn't already on fire from like doing my hair okay and then i go oh, turn around and burn my finger i'm in distress look at this face i don't even want to do my hair anymore like i'm in distress but at this point i'm like push through for the video i literally had to put my finger in some ice that I was eating so sadly enough I wasted some ice on my burnt finger and at this and you see I'm paranoid at this point like look at me I can't even function Ooh, that hair color though looking looking ripe so after some ice baths I decided, you know what, this thing stings. But hey, look, the show must go on, okay? And I am a grade A performer, so when it comes to, you know, finishing the act, I am the final act, okay, period. So, as you see here, I'm trying to finish up this last little bit so y'all can finally see what it look like. But yeah, so back to the ends. So the ends are poofy because I need to cut like an inch and a half off just because 
again i went a whole fiscal year without freaking doing anything to my hair but letting that bitch grow okay so overall i would say my hair is about six inches all together all around um from scalp to end that's with cutting it off so i did end up cutting it off off camera like a few days after doing this video simply because i, I should have done it right then and there but i didn't because i didn't have my freaking i didn't have my freaking hair scissors and i wasn't gonna cut my hair without hair scissors like that is just i have hair scissors so i use them for that reason you know But overall, I really liked how it turned out. Although it's giving me a lot of volume because of the ends and it's not as, it, it was flat to my head, but honestly, I don't think I like my hair in its straightened state because that is just unnatural boo. Like that is not me. That is, if you are curly hair, that's not you. Like straight hair is just not us, okay? It's us when we're in wigs and we're in bobs and stuff like that. But just straightening our natural hair just doesn't seem natural to me. Like. It just doesn't feel good like as the days progressed and i had my hair it was like gross like i felt weird because my head was so flat <laughs> i mean let me know if y'all ever experienced that kind of like trauma from flat ironing your hair because i definitely did and then when i went to the gym i was sweating and then my little curls started coming back at the scalp and so then it started looking bad so you know what it was it was just a mess okay so yeah, I probably won't flat iron my hair again. I would just stick to flattering my wigs and bundles, period. Okay, so yeah. And this is how it turned out. Yay! I look cute, fluffy. It's giving me Nia Long, like, period. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for more videos.